What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yup, it's my lawn time. I got Big Boy and Turkey here with me. And today's project, yup, you're looking at two rifles. No, the barrel is not pointing at anyone, it's just camera angles. Camera angles because we need it. Anyway, they're both empty. As y'all know, we just got done putting this 624 by 50 right on optic on my pops rifle. I was checking. I know when we tested it, we used factory ammos and I was expecting the groups on it to, to be a lot tighter, okay? A little bit tighter. And so I was like, hmm, let me check. Let me check the free float on it. And I was looking and I see a nice, nice size gap right there, right down here. And I was just looking and I was like, you know what? Eyeballing it just ain't cutting it. So of course I had to run a test. Now for those that don't know what's the purpose of free floating your, your barrel, it's actually gonna allow you to get better accuracy, believe it or not. With these synthetic stocks on it, sometimes when the stock get molded, you have some leftover, you know, pieces that's kind of like pushing against the barrel. So it's, it's messing with your harmonics, basically. Okay, now, this is our Mossberg right here and just got done trying to work on the scope. What I mean by that is it was canted, like I said last time at the range. So I tried to straighten it out, but it still seems canted, but I'm gonna give it a try at the range to see if Something changed, anything changed. 99.9% is going back to Vorte. Because, hey, I, I want to make sure I'm hitting right. Anyway, how I check free floating barrel on my floating barrel, I actually use a dollar bill. And I, I've already free, free floated this barrel a long time ago when I first got it and as you can see it goes all the way to the to the end of the barrel basically to, to where it mirrors to the receiver and I mean it's it's free floated so I know I should be having some tighter groups and I've had some tighter groups with this but I don't know for some reason that that vortex is just screwing me up. But I'm not gonna be blaming vortex too much because hey, we're gonna see what it do when we go to the range. So let's go ahead and check my old man's. Yeah, get it, get it up here. All right, flip this dollar over. And as you can see, even though you have that, it ripped my dollar, yeah. Dang it. Perhaps you owe me a dollar. Anyway, so y'all see what it did to the dollar. It, it ripped the dollar. So, we're gonna go ahead and float this thing. It's real simple and easy to do. It's only taking a long time because, you, you know, I'm running my trap, but let me reposition this thing. All right, everybody, so it's upside down, as you can see. All right, this is the mag well where your mag goes to. You have these two screws that you need to 
just remove and we're using our wheeler to remove these screw down here Trigger right here. All right. This is the bottom of the barrel. This is where the mag well is. You can see it will go up into the bolt or the receiver area. And I don't know what that crud is, but there's some crud on there. Alright, and it looked like it's been touching right here. Okay. So what what I'll do is I'm gonna set it back on here right quick. Visually inspecting it, nothing really stopping the bottom of the barrel from floating because you do have a nice little float looking thing here, but it's these sides right here that's super duper tight. And so what we'll do is we'll just come around it and trim it. And this is another telltale sign right here. You see, basically, hold this up. You can basically see where it's biting it right down. Okay, shouldn't be like that. And it's vice versa on the other side, you see. It. So, we're gonna lap it right quick. And we're gonna do this the easy way, y'all. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the barrel along with the receiver. We'll just lay it to the side and I got me a piece of emery cloth. And what we'll do is just basically work the sides right here. Just gonna keep working it by hand so I don't remove too much material because I do want this to be right because it is the old man. You know, if you have a Dremel, which I do have a Dremel, I just want to take my time with this dough. Like I said, I don't, 
Not in a hurry. I want to make this right for the old man. I want to make sure it's still pretty close to factory. Looking better, y'all. Looking better. All right, everybody. So we pretty much we pretty much got it floating now. I mean, it's really floating. The blue tape is because I kind of pitted some of the you know some of the area that I sanded off. So. I'm going to work it back up and rebuild it back up because this is a synthetic stock. I'm able to do so. I don't know if I'm going to show that in this video, but the old man did tell me he wanted me to do his other rifle too. So before I go ahead and proceed with all that, I just want to show y'all we got us. We got the homie over here. And uh, it show y'all it's it's free floating. Okay. That blue strip does get thick, but all the way, homie. All the way. So, that blue strip, all right. There it is. It's not gonna go any further back than where we have it right there. Let me bring y'all over here. Due to the fact right under here is you have your bolt coming up to lock down to your barrel. So, it's, it's floating, y'all. Real easy, you just gotta work it, take your time. And, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna work it a little bit more. And, uh, we'll cut y'all back on. All right, everybody, so here's the finished product of what we was able to do for my old man's uh, stock. All right. Turned out okay, y'all. It turned out okay. Okay, maybe a little bit more than okay. But uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Put the action on it. All right, everybody. So, got everything installed. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna try this printer paper for our test. It goes all the way to the back, y'all. No problem, y'all see it. Pull it with one hand. That's how you want it to be floating. And y'all remember the blue strip? One handed, y'all. Yeah. All the way to the back. Ain't gonna go no more because of that screw. Put that bolt back there. But that's it, y'all. Yeah. Now. We hope that y'all stay tuned because we will be taking this to the range. Check it out. Hopefully it performs a lot better than it did or than it have been. Because now we, ha we finally have this uh, barrel actually floating. So with all that being said, y'all, remember... You can fix it too. On that note, y'all take it easy. Peace.